What's up everybody? Welcome back to Fishing with Gramps. In this video we're going to convert an old jet ski trailer into a kayak fishing trailer. Originally this trailer came with these six foot wooden bunks. Still in really good shape, but they're too short for my kayak. I need some 10 footers. And the reason I need longer ones is in the middle of my kayak, it kind of sinks in a little bit, like a little compartment underneath. And that's what helps you stand up in the kayak. But these bunks are too short. I need something that runs the full length of the kayak to properly support it. Now, over the last few months before winter time, I may do, but now we've got some 50 degree weather here in Southern Indiana. I'm gonna start the project tonight after work. We got about half an hour before sun's all the way down. But but that'll give me enough time to get the measurements I need and get going. So we'll combine this with some time lapse and some talking points in between. But you can watch me convert this basic trailer into a kayak hauling fishing machine. I got some fresh 10 foot two befores. We're going to get the kayak on here, get some measurements, get everything figured out, and then get to work. Let's go. All right, so I got John to help me here load the kayak onto the trailer. We stood up the two befores so we can get the proper measurements of kind of where everything needs to go. I've got the kayak pushed all the way up the front by where we strap it in and then the 10 foot two by fours run down They'll be sitting at an angle for the kayak to actually rest on but for right now We're just framing everything up and getting the measurements here at the back I'm 16 inches back from the rear bumper just enough to cover the back of the kayak So 10 footer fits the PDL 106 perfectly So now to take the kayak off I can go ahead and put it away take the two by fours. Let's get the carpet on We'll take the brackets off of the old bunks and repurpose those and and then get to it. So, time to get to work. So there's gotta be one strip screw, right? So I get you one of these little kits that's got the little cutter on one end and the grabber on the other. Basically bores it out and then lets you drive this little end in to back the screw out. I can't tell you how many times this little kit has saved my butt with the strip screw. Let's get back to it, it's getting dark quick. All right, we're back out here in the next afternoon. 60 degree weather, can you believe this? It's gonna be windy all day. Yeah, grip should be fishing. Got a kayak trailer build. So what I've done so far is I've taken the brackets off of the old bunkers. I got the two on the back end, 16 inches up. Got them screwed in. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the brackets. I'm gonna start with the holes closest to the middle. I've got the risers in the back on. I'm gonna put the ones in the front on. I'm gonna start with them in the middle. And what I'm gonna end up doing is tilting the bunkers to get the kayak to fit the way I want it to fit. Now in the front, it widens out a little bit, so I may have to move them out one and adjust it from there, but we're just gonna play it by ear and get it to fit the best we can. I'm gonna get the brackets on first, and then I'm gonna stop and put the carpet on, glue it down, staple it on, and then go from there. Now, while I do have measurements of 55 inches from the back bracket to the front, what I'm still gonna do is I'm going to put the risers on, put the brackets on front and back, I'll loosely attach the ones in the back and then I'll take the ones up front and then using my hammer, drive the two by four down into place. That way I don't have to worry about mismeasuring or something not fitting up right when I go to put them on after the process is all done. I wanna make sure of proper fit before I kinda tighten everything down and put the carpet on the two by four. So for me, I'll do all the fit. I'll put the kayak on it, make sure everything is where I want it. Then I will take out the four screws from the risers and put the carpet on then we'll be good to go from this process. So back to time lapse. Still at it, this is taking me forever. We got these brackets on. Man, the studs are like this long and take forever with a little wrench to get them on, but that was most of the evening yesterday. So I'm gonna come back out and spend another hour. I'm gonna work on getting the side pieces into the brackets today, and then maybe even the cross pieces on for carrying that second kayak up on the top. It's slow and steady, but we're making progress. Let's get back to it. All right, so this project's taking way longer than I thought because we get cold days, hot days, cold days. It took me forever to get this frame up. 16 U-bolts about this long with a, a hand wrench. It took forever. I got the brackets up. I got the crossbars on and mounted. Everything in there is good to go. I had to go get a steel bit to drive through the frame to hook up this rod tube. Now, I made a mistake. I thought this rod tube was only seven foot long and 
eight inches wide, which I like the eight inches because more rod stores, but it's actually eight foot long and six inches wide. So I should be able to get all six rods that I plan on using for kayak tournament fishing this year in there. If not, I'll just throw the extras in the, uh, in the truck, but I'm pretty sure everything that I want to take with me, I'll be able to get in the rod tube. As you can see, it's one of these that just pop open like this, lock, it's got holes here so I can lock and shut. It's mounted on there really secure. I did put a little dab of Loctite on each of the nuts. So if anybody wants to steal that, they got a little bit of work to do. I got the carpet on the bunks and that took a little bit longer than I wanted to. I initially got this marine grade. It's kind of like caulk. It was really a pain to get on here. So what I found instead was some double-sided sticky tape that's used for mounting carpet. And all I really wanted to do was get it kind of where I wanted it and then stapled it down. I stapled it on one side of it, which will be the opposite side of that the kayak sits on and then the bottom side on the inside of the bunk so that the, the kayak will touch nothing but carpet all the way through it's not gonna be near any staples or anything i will go ahead and get these mounted now and get them attached and then i will put the kayak on the bunk and then adjust the tilt and maybe even the width based on what i need to fit the kayak so let's get back to some time lap and get this knocked out have this project done ready for the 2022 fishing season in the kayak let's go There we have it, our finished kayak trailer. Got the Old Town Sportsman PDL fitted on it, everything tightened down, ready to roll, ready for spring. Couple more weeks, we'll be out hitting the water. Took an old jet ski trailer, put some new bunks on it. Got a rack from Malone's. I think it's called Malone's Auto Racks. I'll link it down in the description below. That way I can put one or two more kayaks up top. Got tie downs front and back. It is super solid. Got my rod tube put on. I'll drop a link in the description below for the end caps if you want to make one of those really simple easy to do but that's it we're all set up ready to go gotta throw some more stickers on here and i will be set can't wait to kick off the 2022 fishing season get back out on the water we're a couple weeks away Woo! of course 50 degree days like this help get fish going in the right direction if you have any questions about this build drop me a comment down below if you want to see my initial review of this old town sportsman pdl 106 i'll link that right here you want to see my one year review of it i'll drop that right here until next time get outside when you can and make some memories one cast at a time